So what are you going to do with this one precious life that you've been given? Chris Crone here with Limitless TV, and today we're talking about, of all the infinite choices you could select, what do you do to select the choices that are going to help you live the most amazing life you possibly can? You know, when, when you're a kid, everyone's pestering you, what do you want to be when you grow up, right? And you know, kids are fun. They, they look at some of the crazy things like, I want to be an engineer. You know, I want to be an astronaut. You know, I want to be a surgeon. And you know, as we get older and collect life experience, we start recognizing that, hey, there are certain things that we're more suitable for than others. I'll never forget, I was in one of my cl college classes for, for marriage, family, human development. And my professor said that all people have different strengths and weaknesses. And I thought, what a strange thing to say because my parents, I had eight brothers and sisters, my dad and mom kind of raised us all with the same expectation as probably parents naturally would want to do. But the truth is between all of us, we were super diverse. I mean, I still have a sister that thinks that a baker's dozen is 12. It doesn't even know that it's actually 13, right? And yet she is the most brilliant composer. Sit her down on a piano and her fingers will just start making something up out of her head. You know. A lot of times when we're trying to figure out what we want to do when we grow up, we, we question or look at our intelligence and thinking, well, we have to be super smart to do really good things. And the reality is, is that we're all smart and genius in very different ways. In fact, someone might be a brilliant dancer, but they might really struggle at, at basic rational logic. We're all brilliant in our own unique ways. So the question is, how do we figure out what we want to do? Well, here's what society's plan is. Society says that you got to get good grades. And with those good grades, you, you're going to use them to get into college. And then if you go to college, you'll get a degree and it'll set you up for success. Well, I got news for you. Getting into college measures two things, like reading and math, maybe a little bit of science. And yet, those are only three core competencies out of hundreds of core competencies. And so I want to tell you, I'm a huge proponent of education and the real education that you might need in life to figure out what you really want to do may end up going beyond the simple concept of a degree. Because think about it, you're going to pick what you want to do for the next 30, 40 years of your life. Today I want to give you some of the things that I learned after I got my degree in college. I want to share with you that um, you know, college, even, even at that young age, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, changed rapidly after I really got into the real world. So the things that I want to share with you here in this next segment, I believe, will be super helpful in helping you go beyond maybe that elementary concept that all of us received as kids growing up and instead graduate you to a different approach to figuring out who you are and what will truly fulfill you. So when we talk about what you want to do with your life, sometimes that we think that translates into a, a degree or a profession or a career, but I want to take you down a totally different path. One of my friends, Woody Woodward, he invented this system all based on what's important to people. And um, in a moment, I'm going to put something up on the screen here, and I'm going to show you a list of 35 different things that people find important to them. And as I put this up on the screen, what I want you to do is take inventory on, of these 35 things, which are the six that are most important to you. You can even pause the video and just take a second and write down of everything on the screen, which of these 35 are most important to you. Do that right now. Now, as you're checking out this list, look at some of the things there. Being confident in appearances, connected to God, organized, a sense of trust, a sense of self-control, I am overcoming in a loving relationship, living in the moment, receiving respect, providing for others, being free and independent, relying on your knowledge, receiving praise, working, being creative, healthy, connected to family, receiving recognition, feeling secure, achieving purpose, the power of influence, connected to nature, being a friend, validated, solving problems, performing, being a good parent, learning, being needed, achieving goals, experiencing life, serving, honoring your standards, being accepted, or winning. Now, as you look at this list, there are six things on there that are going to be, that are going to really stand out and be important. Now, there might be 10 things that you like or 12, but I want to invite you to narrow it down to six. 
And here's what my friend Woody Woodward is really teaching. It's this principle that says, if the things I'm doing in my life align with the things that are important to me, then it means that I'm expressing purpose and I'm finding peace and I'm finding contentment. Now that you have your six, if you paused and wrote them down, here's my challenge. If at any time during the day, at least two of these six are expressing themselves, you're likely going to feel happy. So when you're looking at your life and what you want to do is you're looking at at what kind of career or or how you spend your time and how you want to design and build your lifestyle, I'm inviting you to build it around these six core essential elements because happiness will come from this, uh, establishing and building greater value will come from this, and feeling naturally fulfilled and happy will also be a byproduct of following this these six things that are the most important to you.